Good morning, ma'am. My name is Saul. I'm going to be your nurse for today. Good morning, um, Saul. I have a couple of questions for you. Mm -hmm. uh, before we actually start, uh, since we will be doing an assessment of your abdominal region, mm -hmm. uh, do you have to void? Uh, I just did. You just did? Thank okay. you for asking. Perfect. All right. And uh, now for security reasons, could I have your initials and your date of birth? Mm -hmm. EO83169. Very good. That matches our records. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of hand washing for, for your safety. And I'm going to be putting my gloves on. While I put the gloves on, I would like to ask you a couple of uh, additional questions regarding your, your health history. Um, do you have any any uh, problem with your with your abdomen, constipation, diarrhea, anything like that? Um, I do have some constipation. Constipation, mm -hmm. okay. Is it recent or is it chronic? No, I've, it's pretty chronic. Pretty chronic? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you had any uh, surgical procedures? Uh, no. Okay. Have you had any uh, like uh, C sections or any hernia yes. uh, hernia repairs? Actually, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, I, I have had a C section. C section. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. All right. We're gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have you lie, lie down. Okay. I'm gonna put some pillows in your back. Um, I'm gonna put a, a pillow under your knees. Okay. That'll make you relax a little bit more. And uh, I'll go ahead and cover you up. That way, we're only gonna uncover the areas that we are gonna be be. Uh, uh, checking okay, okay, all right. What this I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put your gun a little bit higher so I can expose your, your abdominal region. Would that be okay? Yes, all right, perfect. Okay, you can keep your either hands up here or just hands on your side, uh, whichever you feel more comfortable. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, an inspection. Um, we'll check for the skin color, which I see it, it is so symmetrical, same color as your face and arms. Okay, uh, I don't see any, any uh, moles, I don't see any lesions, I don't see any protrusions. The, um, the umbilicus is at the midline, it is symmetrical, it is uh, inverted. Okay, um, I'm also checking for any type of uh, you know, bulges, which I don't notice any. Uh, and I'm also looking for aortic pulsations, which I don't notice in uh, any aortic pulsations. Um, the scar, you said you had a C-section? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the scars are here. It's approximately five inches. Okay. All right, the, the next step we do, uh, when we do an abdominal assessment, we auscultate first, okay? So I will be losing this into some of your, your bowel sounds, okay? Um, I'm gonna be cleaning my, my stethoscope. It is gonna be a, a little cold, so I'll try to, to warm it up for you. Okay. okay. Before I, I do any, any of the auscultation, um, I'll be touching your, your abdominal region. Is there any pain in any area? No, no pain. No pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I'm gonna start with uh, going over your four four quadrants. The the first quadrant I will be uh, auscultating is your right upper quadrant. Okay. We try to listen for approximately one minute per quadrant. Very good. Now I'm gonna go into your left upper quadrant. Also for uh, approximately a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna go into your left lower quadrant. I'm sorry, the right lower quadrant. Very good. And finally, I'll go into your left lower quadrant. Very good. I noticed that uh, you approximately, it's about uh, eight to 10 uh, vowel sounds per minute which is normal, it's very good. What I'll be doing now is I'm gonna uh, change the, to the, the bell portion of the stethoscope, um, and then I'm gonna be checking for any type of uh, breweries over your, the, the, your um, like uh, vascular region, okay? okay? The first one I'll be uh, auscultating is your aortic region. And once again, I'm listening for any type of breweries. I don't notice any breweries. And I'm gonna go into your right renal region. And 
no bro is noted I'm gonna go into your left renal region no bro is noted I'm gonna go into your right iliac region no bro is noted and I'm gonna go into your left iliac region very good if I didn't notice any bruise or any of the of the, the areas that I, that I uh, auscultated, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the diaphragm and I'm gonna listen over two areas. I'm gonna listen to your right upper quadrant and your left upper quadrant. And I'm gonna be checking for any type of friction rubs, okay? No friction rubs noted over the hepatic region. And no friction noted in the left upper quadrant, which corresponds to your splenic region. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do a quick uh, checkup also on your uh, peritoneal area. Very good. No friction. No, no friction. Uh, sounds noted. That's very, very good. All right. The next thing that I'm, I'll be doing is I'm gonna do some percussion. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be checking the several, all the, the the sections in, in your of your abdominal region. Uh, if you notice any pain while I'm doing this, I want you to please tell me right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you said you had no previous pain, right? No. Okay. I'm gonna start palpating and I'm gonna use the, the my fingers and I'm gonna use one as a, as, as a, a thumping sound. Very good. This is the right uh, hypochondric region, right epigastric region, left hypochondric region, right lumbar region, umbilical region, left lumbar, right iliac, hypogastric, and left iliac. Okay. While doing some of the, the, the percussion, uh, I'm using, we're listening for different sounds. We're listening for dullness or for timpani. Timpani is the normal sound that we will actually find. Uh, you do notice a little bit of dullness on the right upper quadrant, uh, but that corresponds to, to your liver. Mm -hmm. The other areas I did notice, uh, there, was, there were tympanic sounds, which are normal. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some, uh, some palpation. I'll start off with some light palpation at the beginning, but in, once again, if you notice any pain or is there any pain in any areas or tenderness, please let me know, okay? I'm gonna start palpating over your, your right upper quadrant. And here I'm checking for any, any masses or any, any abnormal, abnormal findings that I can find. Uh, I'm not going to your left upper quadrant. Very good. I'm gonna go into the right lower quadrant no pain right no. no and finally i'm going to palpate over your left lower quadrant very good as i was doing some of the, the palpations i've noticed some of your your breathing uh for women it's uh, the cost of breathing which is normal so you're using a lot of the, the your chest uh, um, uh, structure so it's very very good all right what we also want to check is uh, we want to check for certain pathologies, okay? The one thing they want to check is they want to check your gallbladder, okay. making sure that there's no inflammation or no, no, no part of that area. And then I'll be moving around and checking also for, to make sure that the, your appendix is okay, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. The first sign that I'm going to be checking is called your Murphy sign. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press a little bit deeper. I want you to take a deep breath and exhale. Any pain? No. Okay. So that means that there, your your um, the gallbladder is intact. There is no no part of the area, so that Murphy sign is negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next sign I'm going to be checking is called a uh, McBurney sign, and it's between the umbilicus and the iliac portion at two thirds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press gently, a little bit deeper. If you notice any pain, I want you to tell me right away. Any pain? No. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick release. If you notice any pain, I want you to let me know. Any pain? No pain. Perfect. So McBurney sign and Blumberg sign were both negative for the appendix. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on your left lower quadrant. 
if I do this, and if you do you feel any pain on the right side? No. No, okay. So this is a rustling sign, and it's also negative for appendicitis. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go into a little bit more of a, a deeper palpation, okay? I'm gonna be checking uh, your, your kidney structure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one hand behind on your behind your back, and with the other one, I'm gonna do some a little bit of palpation, okay? There we go. I wanted to take a deep breath, and I'll exhale. Hold it there for a little bit. Any pain? No. Okay, very good. The, the right kidney is palpable, and it's very good. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left hand side. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put my hand under you. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Now exhale. And your kidney is palpable. No, no masses or anything found on either side. Okay. All right. Well, this pretty much concludes the the anterior portion of the of your uh, abdominal assessment. I'm gonna ask you for one more area. I'm gonna go in and sit you up, and I'm gonna check in the, behind you on your costal vertebral angle, okay? okay. Very good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, one hand uh, uh, over your, your, your right uh, costal vertebral angle. I'm gonna do a little bit of a, like, a, like a percussion, and you let me know if you feel any pain. Any pain? Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing over your left side. You let me know if there's any pain. Any pain? No. Excellent. All right. Well, as far as the, your assessment, everything seems to be in order. Okay. As far as your your the constipation that you mentioned at the beginning, um, I would recommend uh, an evaluation by a nutritionist that might actually work with you as far as you know a proper diet, uh, something that you know increase our fluids. Uh, I'm pretty sure you heard this before, but you know now there are certain you know medications and you know the new foods out there that could uh, that could actually help you with that okay any other questions you could have no. all right ma'am it was a pleasure you. doing your assessment nice okay and uh, let us know if anything we can do anything for you okay thank you, thank you very much